Loftus and Palmer wanted to investigate whether leading questions affect eyewitness testimony. In particular, they wanted to see whether changing the verb in a critical question affects participants' speed estimates. 45 students were recruited and asked to watch seven film clips of traffic accidents. After each film, they completed a questionnaire. There were a number of distracted questions, and then there was one hidden critical question, which was about how fast were the cars going when they smashed, or collided, or bumped, or hit, or contacted each other. The verb was changed depending on the group the participants were in. When the question was about how fast were the cars going when they smashed each other, Participants thought the car was going faster and gave a mean speed estimate of 40.8 miles per hour. When the question was about how fast were the cars going when they contacted each other, participants thought the car was going slower and they gave a mean speed estimate of 31.8 miles per hour. There was actually a nine mile per hour difference between when the verb smashed was used and when the verb contacted was used in the critical question. Loftus and Palmer concluded that leading questions can affect witnesses' memories. And Elizabeth Loftus has gone on to do more research showing that this is the case. The problem of Loftus and Palmer's study is that it was an artificial situation. Participants would not have experienced the same emotions as real witnesses. Watching film clips of car crashes is not the same as seeing one in real life. So the study has low ecological validity. Furthermore, other research shows that real witnesses can have good recall. Yorn and Cutshaw found that real witnesses to a gun shooting were not affected by leading questions even five months after the event. However, Loftus' research has affected how much courts trust eyewitness testimony, which is probably a good thing because innocent people have been convicted based on incorrect eyewitness testimony.